Hey, it's Steve from Objects Unlimited. This video is for people that are interested in getting started with color 3D printing. We're going to introduce the Mamaki 2207 full color 3D printer that you see right here. There's many different options for 3D printing and many different methodologies, but printing in full color is one of those where it's quite limiting. There's not that many options for it, and most of the color 3D printers at a pretty high price point because they are industrial equipment. The Mamaki 2207 will let you produce high quality full color parts at a, a very reasonable entry level price point. So this is ideal for people that are producing samples of toys, small prototypes, marketing material, educational institutions, character design courses, video game companies. There are so many great applications for this technology. There's some parts that we made on the 2207 that I can't believe come off the machine and making something high detail, full color, accurate can be a very useful tool for many people. It is very difficult to make a part like this, but one of the great features of the Mamaki product line is the water soluble support system. So we are not blowing at this with water jet. We're not trying to tear everything away or scrape it carefully. We gross remove support and then we put it in a cleaning solution or water and the support disappears and we can make this incredible. The Mamaki 553 is a production machine and that's made for high volume of parts to run all the time. The 2207 machine is made for those customers that need small volume prototypes that are full color, that are stunning. It's a really great way to get into the market without investing in production grade equipment. Objects Unlimited has always been working with color printing since the day we started in 2011. Came across Mamaki products several years ago and was very intrigued, especially by the initial sample that we saw uh, of a full color human head. It was really impressive. After quite a lot of discussions, we ended up adding a Mamaki 553 to our production line right before COVID. And I must say, if we didn't have these machines, I'm not sure we would still be in business because it opened up an entirely different market for us, giving us the ability to print full color plastic parts as opposed to some of the other parts we were making, which were excellent, but maybe didn't have the same material properties. Since that time, we've added two more Mamaki machines to our fleet because we found that we can just produce incredible parts that no one else can do or that are very difficult to do. Uh, and these machines have been performing outstandingly well. We have over 20,000 hours of print time on our Mamaki machines so far. Over the years, Optics Unlimited has investigated many different ways of color 3D printing. And there's a lot of excellent solutions out there, but what really drew us to Mamaki was a few things. One is very cost-effective solution. The cost of the equipment is one thing, but the ongoing operating cost, especially due to the closed loop ink system, was very attractive to us. We really like the software and the way that the products are rendered and come out um, from the printer. We love the quality of the machine and we found Mamaki to be an excellent company to deal with overall in the additive space. With full color 3D printing today, there's only a few different options. Number one is the 3D Systems ProJet 660 machines, which I personally have run for over 12 years and I love those machines. However, the material is gypsum powder and it's a little bit brittle. The second option for 3D printing in full color is using a jetting system. That's the system that Stratasys and Mamaki would use where you're spitting material onto a plate and hitting it with UV uh, light. Both solutions produce excellent products. We find the Mamaki solution a little bit more cost effective. Uh, the Stratasys solution does have a lot of multiple engineering grade materials which can add a lot of complexity to the system and for the purposes of producing full color prototypes we find the Mamaki equipment to be a little bit better. Another option is HP uh, nylon full color. Certainly some very attractive features about that but we find the colors aren't as vibrant as we would like. 3D systems, Mamaki, Stratasys and HP. Those are really the four ways to print color. We love our 3D system solutions, we love our Mamaki solutions, and we respect all the Stratasys and HP product that we see out there. We find this equipment works great for us. To review the key differences between the Mamaki 553 and the Mamaki 2207, it's really simple. Number one, the build chamber is smaller. Number two, the throughput is lower. It's the same ink set, it's the same software, it's the same incredibly high quality parts. This is a very useful machine in the right environment. Some of the key features of the Mamaki systems that we really like at Objects Unlimited. Number one, very high detail. We can print fine features at very small scale with very thin walls. Number two, outstanding color. We are printing true Pantone colors uh, at very, again, small scale and very accurately. Number three, true blacks come out really well on this equipment, uh, especially on the 2207. A true black part can come out very nicely. Number four, it's a closed loop system. That means that our material cost is minimized and we're not flushing material through the head on a repeated basis. And number five, the software is great. Very easy to set up parts, there are repair tools available, and it's, it's starting a job it can be as simply a matter of minutes. 
Mimaki has a special on this machine right now where you get the printer, the initial ink charge, installation, training, shipping, and a post-processing unit all in one very cost-effective bundle. What that will do for you is remove all the barriers and all the hidden costs. Nobody wants to buy a machine and find out that you need five other pieces of equipment to go with it. All these things come to you all at once and you can be up and going in a couple days making parts you could never make before. There's lots of challenges in doing research to buy an industrial grade 3D printer. There's so much information on the market, there's so many overwhelming factors to consider. So going online and doing an internet search may be a great place to start to know what's available, but it's very hard to answer all your questions that way. What can answer your questions is experts like us. Please give us a call to discuss your needs. There's so many factors to consider. What's your material? What's your printer process? What's the post-processing time? What equipment is necessary? What facilities are necessary? What certifications do I need? All these things need to be considered, need to be discussed. That's what we're here to do is to help you.